All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content and news and all that stuff. And let's get right into it. But first, what's up, all of my gym stars, man? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Listen, man. Hey, look, I know from back here it looked like mad at naps, but look at this. Look at, look at, up close, man. Can you see the separation, the definition, all that stuff, man? Hey, them things coming together, boy. And that, all I did was get in there, wash my, all I did was get in the shower, wash my hair, and do like this. That was it. This is all I did. And it came out like this. So imagine when your boy actually get it twisted up. He gonna be fine. That gonna be fresh from the dread shop, like somebody said down in the comments, man. But look. It is what it is, man. Appreciate y'all coming through, showing love. Make sure y'all like the video. The likes help me get recommended. Listen to me. As a channel that does not suck the 2K, uh, stroke the 2K, as a channel that does not just gobble the, okay, so as a channel that doesn't just ride to, okay, anyway, man, y'all get the picture. As one of those channels that don't just suck I, it's no easy way to say it. As a channel that doesn't just act like everything with 2K is absolutely fine and glorious and it's the best game ever and I'm just having fun. And if you know, if you, know if you don't act like a Care Bear channel, it's, it, it's nearly impossible to grow. Like a happy-go-lucky just, oh, I'm just having so much fun with this game. Look at all the bills I make. Look at all the stuff I do. And not like, I can't do that. So as a channel that doesn't do that, not, not knocking nobody that does it, but I'm just saying like as a channel that keeps it real about 2k it's, it's it's nearly impossible for me to grow y'all see where i am after all these years of doing it i started doing cool 2k i was at 40,000. this was in two this was in 2015 we in 2020 and i've only gone up 40,000 subs so now i'm at 80,000. all right so look man as one of those channels it's very you gotta like the videos for us to grow man if y'all want us to grow it is what it is but this is what i need you to do let me know down in the comments who we going with are we going with asakira or are we going with Jessica Bangkok. Damn it, I say Asa Akira. Are we going with Jessica Bangkok? First of all, like I said, we had to go with the Asian Persuasion this morning, man. And I y'all should give me a like on the video just because I found them. I found four pictures with them fully clothed. Do you know how impossible a task that is at times? It is what it is, man. But look, though. We got a lot to talk about, a little bit of time to talk about it in. I probably already talked to the way. What we at? Oh, we only two minutes in, man. We good. Check it out, man. Um, we got a lot of little 2K news to talk about, and uh, we're going to get right into it, man. Check this out. Vince Carter, the first player to play in four decades, man. They got the, you know, they're going to release some of these cards, but these are all his cards from the Raptors to the Nets to the uh, Hawks, man. Right now, he's been on the Hawks for the last couple of years. And uh, he's been a decent contributor, man. Uh, obviously, he's not going to play that much. Not only is he 40, but um, but also, and this is the this is the more important thing, not only is he 40, but we got uh, Sean Hunter and we got uh, Jabari Parker. And they hooping. So he's not going to get that much time. But hey, being able to come in, teach these cats how to play, give them some quality minutes and stuff like that is always a good thing, man. My hat's off to Vince and all of that, man. So look, check it out. Up next, we have J, uh, J Kid's all-time Nets rating is 96. Is he one of the top five point guards ever? I think um, right off the top of my head, just begun to my, like, you know, just right now, if I had to just answer that question, I'd say he probably is top five, definitely top 10. Uh, I, I just would have like right now, and I'm not thinking about it, so I wouldn't think of five point guards better than Jason Kidd. But anyway, they've released the pack. Right now, the all-time, you know, we got uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, Vince, Jason Terry, and Kenyon Martin, boy. Hey, they got your boy Kenyon Martin. Boy, y'all don't remember when Kenyon Martin was uh was the eraser, man. Do y'all remember when he was the eraser at Cincinnati? And he was playing with the helicopter Melvin Levitt. And uh, who else was? And the Kobe stopper Ruben Patterson. Oh, them boys were like they're hoping. But the helicopter Melvin Levitt could get up off that floor, boy. And, um... Uh, I don't know. I think Jason Maxia came after that. And uh, they had a little guy on that team that was about 5'10", and his name was Steve Logan. I don't know if Steve Logan came right after him, too, but both Steve Logan was so tough, man. Like, if y'all remember who Steve Logan was, let me know down in the comment section, man. But anyway, hey, um... Uh, I don't even think Steve Logan made it to the league, but I think, I don't know if all of those guys played together, but I know Steve Logan was either right before 
um, Kenyon or right after Kenyon. But uh, but I know uh, Melvin Levin and, and Ruben Patterson were there at the same time. Anyway, uh, but Steve Logan was so tough, it wasn't it didn't make no sense. But anyway, Aaron Sapphire, Jason Kidd to the, uh, to PD. What the heck is that? For competition, I mean, I guess for competition for uh, completing the first challenge and PD Richard Jefferson uh, for beating them all. So there you go, right there, man. Um, you get Richard Jefferson too. Shoot, Richard Jefferson was a pretty good defender and all that good stuff, man. One of the original uh, slashing, slashing. Uh, what's it, what would you call Richard Jefferson? A slashing, uh, slashing defender, I guess you would say, because all those guys played pretty good defense and they could all fly. They ran up the uh, really. That was the, that was the first iteration of the Byron Scott offense. Uh, run up and down the court throwing alley oops, and just like we were talking about, I was I was listening to them guys talk about uh, the other day. They was like, would you ever have thought? That coming out of Cal, that Jason Kidd will be a top five. I think he was, he was top three at one time. Um, he was top three at one time, all time three pointers made. But now now the amount of three pointers he probably made in his career, they probably shoot those in the season. Now James Harden, James Harden probably shot that amount of three pointers last week. So, but uh, at one point Jason Kidd was a top three three point shooter coming out of Cal, bro. I swear they used to call him Ace and Kidd. The kid could not shoot. He couldn't shoot to save his life. But he was so fast, he was so quick, you couldn't stay in front of him. And he saw the entire floor at 360 degrees, so he was just so good. And then he brought the, he, he got the jump shot later on in his career. But both of his knees was bad his whole career. Uh, he couldn't jump over it. Jason Kidd probably couldn't jump over a dime uh, his whole career. And, uh, you know, he figured out a way to play point guard in the NBA for a long time, man. He was a good, he was a good point guard. So, I mean, he probably definitely top five, definitely top ten. But I, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Anyway, up next, we got NBA 2K Intel. Uh, we got two pieces of news today, so we're going to see. Why did NBA 2K, why did 2K tell us that body types don't matter uh, when it's clearly a difference, especially on centers? I don't know. Y'all let me know if this is, if this is something, uh, this is a thing. I don't know if it matters because I got I, I play with a defined center and my defined center I I literally like me and T were talking about it we're like yo setting screens is an art in this game and stuff like that because people a lot of people took that dumbass bait and went with the burly bill and it seems like that bill is not as fast or not as quick to move but they thought that he was super wide so he'll be able to set screens that's not how you set screens in this game setting screens is an art in this game you once you got on brick wall I can tell y'all the secret to set screens I, I'm gonna actually play with somebody if somebody's out there that plays plays and they hide behind screens and they want me to set screens for them let me know i'll show you how to set screens i'm telling you i can knock somebody down with the screen damn near every time and they'll be like you'll be like bro how you doing that because i know how to set screens there's a trick to setting the screens man so a lot of these people are just trying to say you know like right this one dude says that's dead dead serious because my six seven uh built rebounding wing sets better screens than my seven two slight center and i made the slight center because 2k told me body types didn't matter you just don't know how to set screens my guy like i said my guy's defined maybe defined you know is that a lot of people are saying major difference some people i've heard i've heard it both ways man to me the only thing i've ever used is my actual real life body type and that's defined you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's all I never use. So I cannot speak to that. That's all I'm going to ever use is Define. Every 2K that they've ever come out with, I've always used either Define or Athletic. I think they would call it Athletic or whatever. Whatever the ripped body style was, that's the one I've always used. I've never used anything else. Even when I had my 7-3 center on uh, 18, and he was still looking fat. But, you know, I used Define on that. So I, I never have used anything other than the fine so i could not speak to that but y'all let me know if y'all got several bills but i'm telling y'all man I'm, I'm actually put up some footage of me knocking people down with screens with my defined center i'm telling you bro it's, it's really easy but it's setting screens is really just an art that's all it is and uh last but not least man where we at oh boy we gonna come in under 12 today yes last but not least 2k 20 intel says he put this out at 3 a.m today take it with a grain of salt do with it what you will. Update 1.10 will most likely drop today. Hashtag NBA 2K20. So he said we're getting the update today, man. I don't know how true this is. I've heard some rumblings through the grapevine that we are going to get some uh, updates. I've also heard from some rumblings that a lot of people are not going to like this update because of what it entails. And, and it's going to... Uh, in 2K's eyes, it's going to 
broaden the skill gap. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I'm not gonna say nothing else because I was asked to not say anything about it. But since this is right here, it's up here for y'all. Update 1.10 will most likely drop today. This could change the game as much as the update that came out last year that took pushing out of the game. And uh, the one that, uh, and, and, and patch, I mean, and also changed it as much as patch four changed NBA 2K16. So take that with a grain of salt, read into it what you will, man. We gonna see, man. I don't know if this is true. I wouldn't take it as gospel, but I'm just letting y'all know that 2K, 2K20 Intel says it, and normally when they say something like this, then it's probably true. Anyway, man, either way, I will be out here going over the patch with y'all, showing y'all all the stuff, and uh, we'll do that. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know one more time down in the comments. Make sure y'all like the video. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more Daily 2K content, man. Let's get to 100 grand, man. Y'all been slacking long enough, damn. And go back and watch that Call of Duty video and go back and watch the 2K video from yesterday and go watch the Raising with Randoms where the dude looked like Spank and he was trash. Go watch that too, man. Then let me know down in the comments. Asa Akira or Jessica Bangkok. Damn it, I said Asa Akira. Or Jessica Bangkok. I really just guess it comes down to if you like if you like if you like them uh, slender or if you like them if you like them burly. <laughs> you like them slider, you like them burly, man. Hey, you, if you ask me, I probably go with Jessica Bangkok just because you know. And Bridget say I suck here. I say Jessica Bangkok. Bridget say she like them tall. I like them. I like them with a little meat on their bones. Yeah, you know like what I'm saying? But she don't like women, but she just said Asa Kira might be prettier and she like them tall and doggone. You know, I say, I say Jessica Bangkok got a little bit more meat on her bones. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm holla at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Freshman Bob Shop, BK to Beep Shop. Scott, speak!